Hello, and welcome to the Zim JavaScript Canvas Framework. We're going to show you some examples of Zim at zimjs.com, and I am Dr. Abstract. Let's go to the site now, zimjs.com, and into examples. Let's scroll way down. Now, we just showed you the Zim 4th logo. Let's go see the Zim Try logo. So we click here. And here it is coming on in. We'll increase the size of that a little bit. The Zim Try logo. Now, if you pick these up, it sort of comes back again into the shape of it. Isn't that neat? We've spelled Zim out of the uh, out of the boxes using uh, triangles uh, that are based on the colors of Zim. And you can hit play, and then play with these even more. You can make little tanagram type shapes. Oh, there's my house. Oh yes, and then in comes the person. Ah, taka, 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 taka. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> and then go back to the logo and it all comes back in. So interactive logos are a lot of fun to, to make. Uh, Google does them sort of like makes little games out of logos. Hey, why don't you do them too? Come on into Zim and make the interactive logos. This one, I think it was this one. Yes, feature this. I love this. This is a little interactive ad. Look at that. You pick this up. And it gets sad because it's no longer sitting on top of the Zim icon. And you let go and it goes wobbly and then it goes happy. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so that's just a little interactive thing embedded in there that will work on mobile apps or, uh, or mobile um, you know, websites and, and, uh, and websites here. This was some site you could swap. They use these little diamonds to swap them, but that was just traditional HTML. Now, this is Zim Try site. You can find it in the About section of Zim as well, if you want, at zimjs.com. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night, and come on in and learn how to do this stuff. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, interactive logos can make you some money. Yeah, make you famous. Come on. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Ciao.